CEO Ronald Hicklin from Create the Difference. We're going to talk about the Black Widow 3.0, and we're going to do a deep dive on it right now. So I'll talk a little bit about the 3.0, but first we're going to talk a little bit about the core, because I have a little bit of insight in the core you probably won't hear from everybody else. So this is the Black Widow core shape. This core shape was designed in 2003 by myself, actually. And what's interesting about it is when this core shape was designed, the differential spec or the amount of flare potential you could have for USB-C was 0.080. Then later they changed that spec and currently it is 0.060. So this core shape, though initially it did have a differential of 60, it actually got changed to 58 in the late 2000 teens. And Brunswick has continued to keep it at 2.058 as well. The RG is 2.50 and the differential is 0.016. One of the other interesting things is, is this particular bowling ball will feature HK22 aggression solid cover stock. And we're also gonna take a look at the ball that was previous to that, which happens to be the Black Widow 2.0, because these two bowling balls definitely are going to give us some performance difference, and they'll give a little bit of insight into the cover stock between this cover stock, which was just aggression solid, and the new cover stock, which is HK22 Aggression Solid. Now, one of the things I'm gonna tell you right from the beginning, we do hardness checks on all the bowling balls. The Black Widow 3.0 was 75, the Black Widow 2.0 was 74, so one point difference, not gonna matter a whole lot. What will matter a whole lot is oil absorption. We're actually gonna talk a little bit about that. I actually put some oil um, on both bowling balls to watch how it absorbed into the bowling ball, and the 3.0 was substantially faster than the 2.0. So when we throw some shots, I'll probably show you the ball so you can kind of see it, um, because the 3.0, it sucks it up very, very quickly compared to the 2.0. That's gonna play a role in a couple of things. It's gonna play a role in lane shine, as well as just overall performance. We scan both these bowling balls as well. The Black Widow 3.0 actually ended up scanning right at about 2,000 grit, and the 2.0 scanned at right at about 1,500 grit. So a little bit of difference between those two bowling balls. Um, but they're supposed to be from the factory 500, 1,000, 2,000 sire. So a little bit of difference. They're supposed to be the exact same. We got a little bit of difference between our two, which is okay. Uh, that's part of the process variation that can happen. Another interesting note that you may not know, the 3.0 logo for the actual widow is actually larger than the 2.0 logo. So just another little piece of information uh, for you to be able to know more about the Black Widow 3.0. Well, now I'm excited to throw this bowling ball. So let's go ahead and get right to the review. All right, first shot here. This ball's gonna be pretty aggressive, so we'll, we'll start out pretty far right to see. That's a decent shot. And that's a lot of hook, a lot of hook, it's fine. We'll just move. Um, I'm gonna show you the ball real quick. I want you to be able to see the ball, the oil really fast. That was the first shot with the ball. So you can kind of see the oil on the bowling ball. It's absorbing in pretty quick. Boil on a fresh house pattern. And the oil is definitely absorbing into the bowling ball. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw the 2.0 really quick one shot and I'll be able to, you'll be able to tell there's a big difference. It's just a massive difference in the absorption rate. She's good though. She's definitely a good piece. Anyway. So I'm gonna show you the oil on that bowling ball now as well. And then we're gonna throw the 3.0 and just see how much more or less aggressive it is. So here you go. You can see the 3.0. And the oil is going to sit on this ball for quite some time. Um, it will absorb in eventually, but it's definitely not gonna absorb in nearly as fast as it did on the 2.0. All right, 3.0 it is. C is what you call a big hooking bowling ball, so we're going to move a little further right. That's a pretty good pitch. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, a continuous shape performance. Um, that's what you'd expect from Black Widow. That's one of the reasons why it's so popular. Works for a lot of different styles of play and gives you a nice continuous shape. Ugh. 
You see that? He got to the spot and it really, it really made a nice move there. Big fan of that. Big fan of that. Black and orange, the official colors of hammer. So that's kind of neat too. Ah, I missed a little left there. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So that's the benefit of a continuous ball, right? Like if it truly is continuous, that means the ball, once it begins to make the move, it keeps going. You can miss a little bit to the left for me and the ball will still come back. But if I miss in, then I'm probably gonna be in trouble. Let's, uh, let me just cut the lights off real quick. I wanna kinda of see a couple of shots here. So basically, I've got about two boards of area at the break point. That last shot was in by a board, but it was actually got kinda of close to the same spot as the one prior to that. And that allowed me uh, to be able to get a strike there, which is good. Like, that's just the benefit of having continuous shape ball motion. That's also why the Black Widow ball, the Black Widow line is one of the most popular lines in the sport of bowling and has been for more than two decades. That's good. Bang! Whoop! Bang! And that's the thing, like when you know the ball's gonna strike, you know, all of a sudden you get a little more confident, you feel a little bit more, you know, a little more relaxed. You're not worried about the ball coming off your hands so much. That's a good thing too. And then let it rip. I mean, it's just, it's just good. So now, I mean, you know what that does. Like, I want to throw a couple more shots though, because I like it. I like it. Money all day long and twice on Sunday. Yeah, so this one actually, uh, this one's gonna get a thumb, a switch grip put in the bottom of it and we will add it to the RC. It's good. If you're not a member of our staff, you should join our staff group. It's free to join. We actually give uh, the staff a little bit of additional information on the balls that we review, as well as some free tips too. So if you like bowling and uh, you want to get a little better at it, consider joining our staff. Yeah, man, like it's all day, like it's all day right there. So, so let's just see kind of where the scan is now, getting some different spots on the ball. Yeah. So, looks like we are right at about 4,000 grit right now. So, 4,000 grit is where we um, are at now, which is kind of high. I would say that tends to be a little bit faster uh, than normal um, for bowling balls. But nonetheless, it is what it is. So, I want to throw 2.0 now and just kind of give you a little bit of a good comparison there. Now, look, the 2.0 is set for a whole game, but that oil is still sitting here. So that's what I mean when I say the 3.0 absorbs oil a lot faster. This ball's got one shot on it, and that oil's still sitting here. It's going to play a role in the performance of this particular bowling ball, especially as we begin to put more shots on it. We're going to go right back to where we were initially and had all that room and throw it there first. Come on. Almost. Oh, that one's definitely longer, definitely cleaner. That's a pretty good pitch. Yeah, good result. So I think it's cleaner, a little bit more whippy actually. I think the 3.0 is more total hook, similar type shape, um, just a little bit earlier. So let's throw it again. Nope. 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 So that one was just a smidgen further left. And as you can see, I mean, blower 710. If I had the 3.0 and did that, that's a strike. It's a swisher strike, 
but it's a strength. So what that tells me then is 3.0 is the stronger piece. It is more hooked than 2.0, um, but it's the same shape, right? It's the same shape, just more reaction. Money. Oh, I got six. I got six. That's surprising. I thought that was pretty good. So what I would do is I would probably start out with 3.0 and then work my way back to 2.0. When 3.0 began to be a little bit too early, a little bit too much more, too much aggressiveness, I would switch to 2.0. Because 2.0 is a little cleaner, maybe even a little bit more angular. Oof, yeah, yeah. So that's the difference. I'm gonna throw a 3.0 right there real quick. Um, so that's what it is. It's just, it's just a little bit more, more angular. Still continuous, but more, because it's cleaner, more, a little more down lane. Let's get back to 3.0. Okay, yeah, that's, that's a good shot. So I'm gonna cut the lights off. So those last two shots are dead on top of each other at the beginning, and I'm looking down the lane. It's the yellow and the orange, and they are a board different. So they're one board different, but that's way more than one board difference in performance. That's closer to like three boards difference in performance. So what I would tell you is, is what you're seeing is the 3.0 is just overall, like I said, this is just a stronger piece. Let's take both bowling balls, let's take both bowling balls, and we're gonna apply True cut, hand applied polish plus powered by turtle wax on both bowling balls and see what the performance difference is once we do that. Stay tuned. All right, so we just got done polishing up the Black Widow 3.0 and 2.0 both. I scanned the bowling ball and it now is scanning at 6,000 grit. So we started at 2,000, now we're at 6,000. Definitely gonna be some sort of performance difference and we're gonna find out exactly what that is. Also, some people ask like, you know, what's the layout on these bowling balls, Ron? This one's 55 by four and a half by 30 for both bowling balls. All right, let's see. Definitely longer. You see the seven pin fell late there. That's a tell sign that the ball is longer. <laughs> it's longer, which is what you'd expect. And probably not in the right part of the lane. Let's, let's make a really good pitch here. Let's see. That's gonna get there. Yeah. So I'm in though. I'm in probably about two boards from where I was before. We're gonna go ahead and get one to the left of that. See if it recovers. That's good. That's good. And that's about right. Yeah, that's about right. So they're probably, it's probably about an arrow difference in performance, uh, total performance. So I will move left and get back into the pocket and then we'll see if that allows me to still have some room for error like I had before when it was dull. Yes. Yeah, that's good. That's it, sorry to just make a little move. Um, what I like about it is you know when it's going to pick up, and then once you know it starts, it'll keep going. That's what makes it a highly usable ball. Yeah, it's good, bro. She's good. Let's throw, uh, let's throw a 2.0 there. what you'd expect, right? It's just a little bit longer, a little bit cleaner. Um, so in this case, the flatty seven. But it's, it's good. Like the balls are basically doing the same thing that they were doing. They're just doing less of it because they're shiny. That's good. That's a good thing. Yeah, man, so look. 
if you want to get you one of these 3.0s, head on over to ctdbowling.com. Click the three little lines, click balls, type in Black Widow 3.0, it'll pop up and you can buy it. If you buy it from us, you also have an option to get a free sanding pad, which gives you a little bit more versatility. This ball coming out right at around 2000 grit, I would suggest you probably go ahead and get you a 4000 grit pad from us because the 4000 grit pad will give you a little bit longer, a little more back end, just in case it's a little too strong at 2000 grit. On behalf of Creating the Difference, I am CEO Ronald Hickland. Talk to you soon. Thank you.